Hello, I welcome you all to a new tutorial on how to upload files to Azure using Ojix. So we're going to discuss and we're going to demonstrate how we can upload our files to Azure using Ojix. So the two questions that we need to have in mind when we are working with Azure is how do Azure store files? And when you're talking about Ojix also, you need to consider how do Ojix push those files to Azure? So how do Azure store files? Azure Blob Storage is regarded as a feature of Microsoft Azure, which allows users to store large amounts of unstructured data on Microsoft Data Storage platform. And with Azure Blob Storage, the files, that is our photo, videos, training documents, maybe probably CSV files, Excel file, they are regarded as blob. And these blob files, they are put in containers, which function similar to directory. So this is how Azure Store files. It actually uses the Azure Blob Storage, and all the data you put in there are usually in a blob format. So we're going to demonstrate in Ortrix on how we can push, let's say, a CSV file to the Azure platform. So the first thing we are going to do is our blob storage. Then we locate our container. Then the first thing we do here is we grab our shared access token. So here, you're going to set a permission on your access token, that is URL and your SaaS token. This is what you are going to use to get, to do what? To store your files, that is to push your files to the Azure Blob storage. So I'm going to set my permissions, read, let me, I'll just select everything. So I'm going to set my start and expiry dates. So, Okay, so I'm going to generate my SaaS token and SaaS URL. So what we're going to do here is to open our Autrix designer. So what, the first thing we're going to do is you are going to know the tools that you're going to work with. So the first tool we're going to work with is a directory tool. So you can come here and search for the directory tool. Okay, I already brought it out. So this is the directory tool. Using this directory tool, actually what? It actually helped me to navigate down to the parts of the file I want to push to as well. So here, I'm going to locate the file I want to use. I'll go to my document folder. So I'm going to select the folder that is this folder specifies the parts to my file so the file i have on that folder is definitely going to pick up the file whenever i'm going to use it so the next tool we are going to use this is the blob input tool so we're going to see how, what this blob input is going to do so from here let me join this with this So we're going to replace the entire parts. We're going to replace the entire parts with the field. So this is the full parts. You select the full parts. So we can see that our blob input tool has been what? It has been selected. So the next thing is a blob convert. So we select convert to a blob. Then we click on what base 64 encoded binary data because it has to be encoded as a base 64 for this to work for us. So the next thing we're going to click on is we pick up the test input tool. This test input tool is where we're going to what is where we're going to put our documents that is our SAS token and our SAS URL. So we're going to go down here and copy this that we have here. Going to copy this we have here. Okay. 
So, and one thing that we need to know in Otrix is this is this is actually the assess URL. And assess token is starting from the what from the question mark. After the question mark, that is SP is equal to raw and all parts is actually a container. So here we're actually going to use the name of the file that we are trying to post to Azure. So I'm going to specify the name of the file. This is usually required. So we need to use we need to do this whenever we work with it. So we click on the append field. Select the append field here. This append field is actually to filter the, the things that we need and to bring these two together. That is the SAS URL that we have here from this test input and the one we have here. So I'm going to put join this to this. And I'm going to join this to this. So let me locate the select all to make things more easier. So what I need is this URL. So we can see her blog here. So these are actually the two things that we need. So the next thing is we go to the download tool. So we click on it, drag it out. So what we do here is you, whenever you would using the download tool, the reason why many of us actually encounter error is when we don't set the proper headers and we don't follow all the procedure we are meant to do. So what we're going to do here is we check the encode URL test. Then we indicate that we're coding our data to a block format. So our URL has been selected. So we go to the headers. So we type here. So we need to specify her headers, content type, test slash csv. That is what I'm trying to post is a csv file. So another thing is you need to indicate the block type. So we put block block so this transfer encoding has to be to, to be specified has no Also need to set the content length of our file. The content length of my file that I'm trying to post is 49 bytes. So I put 49. So here we are going to indicate as a put request. So indicate blob. So I'm already putting my URL. So I think I would love to use the browse to to see what this is going to look like. That is to see the end of my results. So I'm not going to click on run. So let's check the results. I using the browse tool. So from the download headers, you can see. Let's check the results from the download tool. So we can see downloaded data. So here, we can see from the message record transfer, that is, our data has been posted successfully. So, okay. So this is the end of this tutorial. And I hope you learned one or two things that will actually help you when you are trying to post a file, or probably you want to post more than one file to the Azure Blob Storage. So thank you for coming. And we would love to see you next time.